So today we are heading out on a journey. So I'm pulling out of my drive and I figured I'd film a little bit just so you can um, see. I love our road which is a private basically single lane road which has only a few houses on and as I've mentioned I'll look how autumnal it is with the leaves blowing off the bonnet of the hood of my car. So as we come along if you were to look to the side there's the sea view I often share in the front of our house and here is our neighbor's lovely stone wall which I actually walked you along there that's the old brick path we took down as the second way to get to the neighbor's dock that we love to walk to and to use so I just love our street it's a wonderful street to walk on as I said it's a private road just a few houses we're surrounded by conservation land oh and if we look here to the side as I drive past here this is our na another neighbor's bit of property you can see in the this bit of the harbor now this is a different harbor than I walked you to the other day this is another little inlet to the right of our house and you can see out there the fishermen on their little fishing area I'm not sure if it's showing up or not but let me see if I can zoom in because it's kind of interesting they are out doing their shell fishing and if you see, of course I have the window up, if you see they are out on their little shack doing their fishing. And uh, we have a lot of lovely evergreens and pines on this road as well and it's quite a long winding road which is why it's actually an amazing place. There's so many other walks I haven't taken you on. If we were to go off to the right up here this is another wonderful walk I do, which goes out into our conservation lands and our woodlands. This is the first time since lockdown in March that I've been to an antique shop. Normally in the summer and spring and the autumn, I go antiquing, I go to tag sales, estate sales, garage sales, yard sales, you name it, I stop and, go and love to look and poke around and buy bits and bobs, but not since COVID. So this is my first time. I know our local antique shop is open in the village. Um, it's a shop that has a few dealers in. It's not good deals like the other place I would like to take you to, which I think is opening up this weekend, but it still often has lovely things, but I have not been in there since the beginning of this year, so your guess is as good as mine. And then, um, oh, this is a, another cute little old house on our street, which I really love. All right, well, let's head on out and go into the village, and I will start back up filming then. There's a lovely cemetery on the left, and you can see the autumnal leaves are just beginning to change. So as we come around into the village, now this village was founded in 16, I think we were founded in 1630, which is quite early, obviously well before we were the United States. And it is one of the oldest towns or villages on the Cape. It's a lovely old colonial Oh, this is another trip I would like to take you on, on this little intersection. The building up to the left is the Sandwich Glass Museum, which is a darling little museum, uh, all about sandwich glass, because Sandwich at one point was a big manufacturer of glass, having so much sand near it. Um, and up here is our, there's a church, and here's our big town hall. I want to pull over for just a second, so I can show where we get, where I get my uh, water. And actually, I'll just, there's someone letting their dog drink from it. Instead of stopping now, I think I'll just, I'll do that another day. But see where the, the lady and the sweet dog is drinking? That is a water supply from the, the town. And just over that, by that yellow house is my favorite tea shop in the village. And this is a lovely church. And this used to be a church years and years ago. But then it was a private home. And recently it's become a, an art gallery. And then here is our little public library and our little town hall. And this is a 
this is the Daniel Webster Inn, which is an actually a pretty good, really, really good restaurant. It has a really beautiful, um, like, koi pond in the back and delicious food. And this is another great place to stop. I'm not sure if they're open, so I'm going to pull over. This here, the Brown Jug, is a great place. It's a wonderful little shop. They make the best coffee and they have really nice imported cheeses and wines and meats and things. So I think I'll stop there after we go to the antique shop. But um, so I'll get back out onto our little road here and we'll turn left on here. There's some more lovely houses up this way, but I can go on another tour another time. We turn left here. Now, sadly, this little gray building here, which is a bars and provisions now, used to be the most amazing little antique shop owned by our um, church, but alas, they sold. So this is another little pretty yellow house. I love the color of that. So yes, this week, and this is another church that's turned into an inn, the Belfry Inn. And this is an old house that is now a lovely little spot to have a burger. And then as we come down, now this is a set, we actually have two tea shops <laughs> in our village, which we're pretty English here. Uh, this one is quite good, but it's not my favorite. And then as we come down here, some more little shops. And where we're heading is over to the left over there is the little building with the bunting on the porch and the lions out front. That is the Sandwich Antique Center, and that is where we're heading. And yes, a boat just went by. <laughs> it's that time of the year when the boats are coming out of the water. Okay, we are inside. I'll probably just show some things. But, oh, I do love the little toys. Oh, I wanted to see some beautiful rugs. <gasps> now this, oh, look at these beautiful stained glass windows. But now this is an antique shop, not a tag sale. So there are places we can get better priced things. This is more of a nice place where you come to find something that's just what you're looking for, but you are going to pay more because, you know, the dealers have gone to the auctions, etc. But sometimes you find really amazing things. Oh, I like this little, that little stained glass piece, which is 195, would actually be adorable in the walls I'm building. Actually, wouldn't that be adorable in the pantry wall I'm going to build in the boathouse? And of course, because we are by the sea, things such as this beautiful wooden boat model and lots of magical paintings. This is a beautiful piece, although I have things like this in the boathouse down below that just need to be fixed up. So let's head back this way. Oh, I love this masthead. Let's have a look at the masthead. You can see my, my COVID garb. <laughs> but see now it's beautiful, but of course it's 795, so. But it's probably a beautiful piece that has authentication. All right, now this is a little, this is a lot of dealers in here. So this little corner is always fun because it's at least a, le, less expensive things, but it, there's always darling little kitchen things like this darling little jug. Look at the little, it has a broken handle, but a little butter, butter jar for butter journey. I love this. Oh. The breakfaster. Mix your toast and warms your coffee all at the same time. How adorable is that? Oh, and it heats up on the top. It's like a little kettle. And then you can put your thing in there to warm. That is adorable. I also love little creepy porcelain dolls like that. Look at that. See that little sheep in there? Oh, I love him. He's adorable. And I love old graphics. Like that old children's book. Probably from the 20s, I would guess, maybe. All right, let's go in here. So we have lots of things this way. A beautiful bit of copper. But again, see here, we pay much higher, 350. And this is good for my husband who smokes pipes and collects pipes. These are Meerschaum pipes, which are made out of a type of chalk that is mined, I think, in Turkey and then carved. Let's go this way. 
<coughs> oh, this is a darling little prince. See, sometimes things aren't too bad. This is just a darling little print. 65 isn't too bad. And yes, mid-century still finds its way. Oh, I love this ship model. That's lovely. This would be great for the house. 250. Oh, I love that marlin. I actually have a small marlin that I need to get out of storage that I want to put in the boathouse redo. And I see they are not inexpensive. Ours was actually caught by a distant family member, so it's been around. Alright, right, let's go this way. <gasps> Lovely blue willow, 195. This is a sweet little desk. Oh, I like this bit of glass. Oh, again, see, it's not inexpensive to buy this glass, $2.95. Now that is a darling little etching, just because I love anything with animals in, and that's a Borzoi, which is a dog I've always dreamed of owning. 85 it's hand-carved wood frame. It's really adorable, it might be hand etching. Oh, and I love little things, look at this little bank. Isn't that adorable? I just need to stop and say, I have not been in an antique or a rummage sale or anything like that since March. Because since the world's been turned upside down, I can't get over the joy I feel. Even if I don't buy anything, just the joy of being here. This is really adorable too. This I would love to use. Now if there are a pair of those and we were making our fireplace mantle, wouldn't those be adorable on the either side of it? Look at this, a darling, darling tea kettle. Keep your tea warm. And look at the interesting shape. It's beautiful copper. Look at this adorable doorstop. And I love things like this. It's quirky. I just like figures. Some people might find it creepy, but I love the hat. It's early 1900s, which I thought it was. Yolka. Now there used to be a little, someone who owned one of the bays who did vintage clothing and I see a little bit, but usually I could find a darling hat. And I've been so desperate to get a hat. I haven't had a new hat in so long. This is really pretty, but I was looking more for, although that would be cute for the witch's tea. It's only 15. I might have to try that on. Oh, but this dealer has little miniatures, and sometimes I find the sweetest little things. Sometimes they're just little china animals, but sometimes you can get little bits of dollhouse furniture, which I love. Oh, yes, like this. I love this. Look how adorable that is. Oh, but it's missing its front drawer. Front drawer. And a little stove, and a little wooden refrigerator, or ice box. And then, of course, they have paper goods, which I also love, because I love the graphics on. Hope I'm not going too fast. I'm just so excited to actually be back in an antique shop. Lovely green gra glass. More glass. See, I love all these little things, although I have many of these that we've just found from digging in our old house. Not the, not Bunny Hall, but our other old house that I will... That is another story I will share at some point. Uh, just not ready for that story yet. It's hard to tell how one looks when you're wearing a scarf over your head. <laughs> Let's try it on. Oh, I really like that. I love this. I think I may get this for the witch's tea. I've actually seen these lamps here about a year ago. And they were a bit too dear for me at the time. They were originally 400, then 265. Now it says 50% off, but aren't they beautiful? And they're that pink I'm looking for. Oh, I love this. It's like almost like a pie safe in a way with a little screen door. That would be adorable for the boathouse renovation. Lovely old portraits. I was hoping to find a mantle for the fireplace we're going to make. 
in the boathouse, but I'm not seeing one. That's the thing I would pay a little bit more for, just because it would be nice. This is lovely painting on here. It's probably not even that old, but it's pretty darling. Isn't that darling? It's a little pooty dancing. A little goat. I love Stife. I have a Stife bear somewhere. And then here are some little glassware. Oh, I like that Punchinello little creamer. He's really adorable. And here we go. Spode or Blue Willow. Oh, are those... This can't be... How are those egg cups? <laughs> are they for or ostrich eggs? Those are the biggest egg cups I've ever seen. And the teacups, which I have. Oh, I like that style, though, of that teacup. I would drink coffee out of that. Pictures. Oh, and a teapot. You know, my one blue willow teapot got broken. And that is 35. Hmm. I'd have to put that on the possibility list. Oh, I love the little pictures with the children illustrations. I also like Dr. Quack. That's a funny old game. I'm guessing it's probably from pre-World War I, probably 1900s. Oh, tramp art. This is always fun in a cottage because it's, and also it was often made during the Depression, so sort of fitting for our current times. <laughs> This is pretty. Oh, this is lovely. A pin prick work in gold frame. So I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but all of that is little pin bricks. I like these. These are just unique. Yeah, no wonder. I was 95. Not sure why the Majolica is started to pique my interest of late. Oh, these make me think of the a much simpler version of the ones that Stephanie has at the Chateau. Aren't they beautiful? Is it $1.95 for the pair? Oh, I love those. But a bit pricey, but those are really lovely. And <laughs> little bunnies. Oh, look at the bunny. I can never have enough bunnies for bunny haul. Probably not even old, it's probably from the, could be from the 60s. But this is a beautiful bowl. This is the willow pattern. And some yellowware. I do like yellowware, it's quite pretty. 25, that isn't bad. Love clocks. The tick of clocks in the house. And I have a, one that has the Westminster chimes, which I love to hear chime. I thought these were taxidermy. Oh, I do like this. He would be lovely. Oh! I have to show this beautiful secretary desk. Looks like bird's eye maple, maybe? Look at the beautiful wood grain. Secretary from 1770, 1780. It's lovely. Okay, I'm seriously considering this mantle for the boathouse project. It's much narrower than I thought, but I love that it's metal and marble, and has a good price. So we're going to think about that one. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that day out in the village and going to the antique shop. And I thought I'd end wearing the hat in the sea because those two things just felt right today. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining me today. I've had a good think about some things today, and um, I will see you on the chats this weekend, and I will see you on my vlog on Monday. And remember to stay creative. Cheers. Cheers.